Hello everyone and welcome back to another video here inside of Cold War. Today I have used a full detailed guide on how to get the Arc 6D no target gamma glitch. Quick thing before getting into the video, I recommend watching it to its entirety just so you can get in game right now and get this glitch done as soon as possible. And without further ado, let's get right into the video. Enjoy. So getting into this glitch, there's two methods of doing the glitch. One is the non-speed cola version which is slower and one is the speed cola version. Now you can pick whichever one you want. I recommend doing this the speed color way as it's quicker and easier to time. You can do whichever one you'd like but let's start with the non-speed color version. So to do this First of all, don't have speed collar, and second of all, buy an R60 from the crafting bench. The next thing I recommend is having the right weapons. Now, the weapons I use in this video is the Lapa SMG and the Howl Shotgun. Now, you can pick whichever SMG or shotgun you want, but I highly emphasize you have an SMG and a shotgun in your loadout without mill kick before attempting this glitch. So, with the glitch, you want to come toward any area of the map, and you want to have the R60 ready for use. And with this, you want to hold down the activation button for the R60. Steve, which is the right button on console and for PC it will be whichever keybind you put the activation for your specialist or score streaks on but when you're doing this you want to switch weapons as you hold down the arc cxd so you're first holding down the arc cxd and next you're switching weapons in that order when you're doing this you're looking for one thing in particular and this thing is when you switch for the arc cxd you'll see the activation for it and just after this you'll see the weapon which you just switched to and if you see this you know you've done the glitch correctly if you don't see this or if your arc 60 does not get pulled out you have not done the glitch correctly and you'll have to retry the glitch on screen here is the correct animation of me getting the glitch and another way you can identify if you have done the glitch correctly is that when you're in the arc 60 animation your character will be holding his weapon forward and if you see this you have done the glitch correctly and when you're in the arc cxc you're not done yet in this form, you cannot take damage from any zombie type in the game because if you do, the Arc 60 will explode upon detonating it. And another thing is that you can't take too long. And I think the timer is around 8 to 9 seconds. And if you go longer than this, then the RC will explode upon detonating it. But you want to go toward any area of the map. I recommend doing it near a perk machine or an Amakashi as near these areas, zombies will just pile up instead of freezing. But come to one of these areas and detonate the Arc 60 as soon as possible. And if done correctly, you should see a black animation and from there you should be kicked out of the arc 60 and it should then remain there for the remainder of your game and do note you can't shoot your weapon at the arc 60 nor throw any explosive near the arc 60 because if you do this it will explode and you don't want this with that let's go through the speed cola version of this glitch and it's mainly the same however the timings are a little bit quicker so when you're doing this version again i recommend having an smg and a shotgun and come to any area of the map which you fancy i came down to this amakashi located in the pond area but you can go to whichever area you want now what you want to do is have the weapons ready for use i don't recommend having milk kick for this glitch as it will make the timings harder and you don't want that so have the two weapons in your inventory and from here hold the activation down for the arc 60 and again like last time you want to switch weapons but the timings are a little bit quicker which for some find it easier this way the, both ways are kind of the same but this way for me is easier to time so i personally recommend this method so you're basically doing the same thing however the timings are a little bit quicker so do that and if done correctly you should see the arc 60 laptop and at the same time the gun so you can now go toward any area detonate the rc and it should then kick you out of it you should now notice that the arc 60 should remain there for the remainder of your game so feel free to continue your camera grind or xp grind using this method if you do wish so this glitch was founded by the legendary your duty 54 which i will have his link down below in the description so make sure to check him out but with that that's basically it for the video today if you guys have enjoyed this video as we went through the in-depth version of the arc 60 as i know a lot of you guys probably made this video so here it is and if you have enjoyed the video or at any stage found it useful then please do consider smashing the like button as it does help the video spread to more viewers on the platform and till next time goodbye